Hello everybody, Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back here with the next episode of the Human Warrior series of Dragon Age Origins. Before we get in the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you won't miss any of my videos. That being said, let's get down to the video, but before we do, before I forget, I got looking at the stats for episode one, episodes one and episode one and two and oh my gosh you guys have been watching these episodes and i'm very grateful the first episode as of me recording this video got 177 views and episode two got 76 views wow i mean and i i know there's people out there oh well that's not very much well for a small channel like me that's a lot so you know and i'm still grateful that y'all are watching these episodes so you know, I, I'm just so thank so really thank you for watching these episodes. So anyway, let's just get down to it. Um, in Lothering, there is a quest I forgot to turn in. I need to go back, turn it in, and then we'll head off to the next area. It's in the chantry. I didn't go in the chantry, and I should have went into the chantry. No, oh, one thing I was doing, I've been doing here lately, I've been, I started a new, um, skin care and oral care regimen. You know, yeah, that seems like a small thing to do, but really it's kind of nice because, um, I don't know, I just feel more confident for some reason following this new regimen. All I'm doing with the oral uh, hygiene is instead of brushing my teeth once a day, now I'm brushing after every meal, which is about, which is three times a day, sometimes four. And I, I tell you, I, I just feel so much better doing that. And skincare, um, I'm starting to use more name brand stuff instead of the generic crap. But the skincare, I'm using Old Spice. And I like it. I like Old Spice. There's word of darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope Who? of protection this village has. I, I beg your pardon. Found. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, He'd set Logan straight soon enough. If he were well? W what, what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness, but I fear we are chasing a fable, with each day my hope dims. I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact, but my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. Okay. And when the Maker spoke, 
chant of light scattered in the darkness. Ooh, there's something over here. Lock. The revered mother's over there, but we don't need to talk to her. Those who seek redemption be delivered. An accurate but those who have sinned be forgiven. Maybe she was ugly. Maybe she had butt teeth. How would we know? Return to us. Thought there was somebody here to pick up. I guess not. Yes. Who might you be? I am Sir Bryant, commander of Lothering's remaining Templars. You don't seem like the other refugees. Are you one of Arl Eamon's knights? Then what might I do for you? I see. That is certainly worthy of notice. Tan Logain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Maker's breath, how many times must we drive them off? Indeed, they're gone. It's true. I saw the bastard running for the hills myself. That's an impressive feat indeed. Will you accept a small reward for your efforts? If it interests you, there is a chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now. Unless there's something else you need. If the matter is important, certainly. I was there at the farmhold. The beast stood there, wet with the blood of the children. He didn't even deny slaughtering them. The revered mother ordered him caged. She has more mercy than I do. But perhaps she is right, and the Maker has love for all his creations, even the Kunari. You can ask the revered mother. I say let him rot until the Darkspawn claim him. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. 20 silver for killing all the bandits that he couldn't kill. Huh. Cheap bastard. All right, where's the... Oh, it's out here. I don't think there's anything else, is there? Nope. We got them all. All right, we can get out of here. We can get out of here. You ate my entire bag of herbs, you foolish dog. Do not think I am unaware of where it went. <laughs> your own fault for being so entirely gluttonous. Several of those herbs were poisonous. You should be pleased they did not kill you. Stupid dog. Be ridiculous. I am certainly not going to give you more, even if I did have more to give. Oh, you have some nerve, creature. And your breath leaves much to be desired. Off you go. We shall see. I promise nothing. Here we go. Oh, what's going on here? Bad dreams, huh? Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde. 
and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me too. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Oh, why, you little... Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. Uh. <laughs> Stupid. You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Well, as you know, my family's name is Mud around noble circles. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last Warden Commander of Ferelden back when the Wardens were known as Freeloaders. So King Olin banished the Wardens and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Hard to say. After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one. And our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. Duncan wanted to reclaim the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. And perhaps we'll uncover evidence to restore my family's honour along the way. Nobody's been to Soldier's Peak since the Grey Wardens were banished, but I found a way. They say it's haunted, and it's certainly dangerous. Will you help me? A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Okay. Well, that's what we'll be doing next, Soldier's Peak. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fenwick at your service once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a Grey Warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected and with your discount. Okay, what do we got?
Nothing really I need. Take that Dwarven Merchant's Belt, though. Because it'll increase monetary gain. Yoink. Okay. Equip you. And equip you. There we go. There. And we'll get one willpower. All right. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was he now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally, some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. Enchantment! Hmm. Enchantment? Oh, certainly. I can do that for you. Just come with me. We'll buy all four of those. Okay, so we won't enchant right now. What do you wish of me? We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. What do you wish of me? If you must. I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeths, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. 
She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Anyone with sufficient will, but the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. There were nights when the wilds called to me, it is true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat proud shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human, I am under no illusions to the contrary. They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus they cannot speak, even were I to ask. No, tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the circle of magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded lore from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could, but as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. Not all apostates use the forbidden blood arts. Maleficarum do, but to condemn all who do not fall under the circle's thrall for the sake of what might be is a dangerous path to walk. There are those who look on the word apostate as meaning freedom. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? You're simply full of surprises, little man, aren't you? But enough of such talk, let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. Okay. We might talk to Alistair just to see what's up with him and then we'll go. What do you need? Oh. What do you need? Yeah. Ask away. Essentially, they're trained to fight. Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. But don't let them fool you. They're an army. The other main purpose for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. Perhaps, but there usually isn't much of an opportunity. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. We are given lyrium to help develop our magical talents, you see. Which means we become addicted. And since the Chantry controls the lyrium trade with the dwarves, well, I'm sure you can put two and two together. Thankfully, no. You only start receiving lyrium once you've taken your vows. You don't need lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective. Or so I was told. Maybe it doesn't even do that. The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away, either, so they can spread their secrets. I'm a bit of an exception. Lucky me. Okay. But we're heading on out. Yes. Okay.
Soldier's Peak. That's where we're going. And here we are. Soldier's Peak. Maker's breath. Look at the size of her. What a fortress. I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. It's just teeming with history. Can't you feel it? So, I'll follow you about from a distance. This place has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. Do you think? Peak. Looks like it's seen better days. Better centuries, more like. Once the wardens flourished, their ranks full, their caliber certain. Now they even accept people. Fall back! Fall back already! Taking the peak will not be easy, my lord. I gave the wardens one chance to die with honor. Instead, they hold up like cowards. We follow the King's advice, then. Starve them out. But the Peak has months of supplies. Then we wait. When they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. What was that? Felt a bit woozy there. I'm not mad, am I? You saw it too. How's that possible? This place truly is haunted. Yes, Warden. Okay. I've never done this, so I don't really know what's going on here. I think they've seen us. Nice. <laughs> no loot. Oh, we got more. Whoa. I'll take the experience, man. I'll take the experience. Jeez Louise, man. That's crazy. Good Lord. Nothing here. That's you. That all that's up here looks like it. Well, I'm looking around for items because you never know. There might be some hidden items around here somewhere. You know, never know. 
You never know. All right, doesn't look like there's any. All right. The men's morale is low. My spells are of no use in this matter, Commander. There is more to leading men than sorcery, Avernus. I will remind them that they're wardens. Men! I won't lie to you! The situation is grim! Our forces outnumbered, our bellies empty, and our hearts are sagging. But we are wardens! Darkspawn flee when they hear our horns! Archdemons die when they taste our blades. So are we to bend knee to a mere human despot? No! I, for one, will never give up! I, for one, will never surrender just to dance on Arlen's gallows. So I propose here and now, in these hallowed halls where generations of our brethren stood vigil against darkspawn and evil, that we send a message to that fat bastard. In this sacred place, proud men, strong men, stood defiant and would rather die than submit to tyranny. So brave, even when starving, and my great-great-grandmother stood with them. Everyone knows they were banished, but to murder them like that. King Arlen must have been a monster, but I've gabbed enough. Lead on, my friend. Okay. We're going to try to explore everything in this here keep, soldier's keep here. Are they not going to let me up the ladder? Nope. We'll take this chest though. Nothing here. Okay, I think this is where we're supposed to go. I'm not sure. Jeez.
Oh, Ballister leveled up. Cool. I'm, I'm thinking this is where we're supposed to go, so we're going to head back and go the other rooms. What's going on here? You guys can take him out. We'll go ahead and... Okay. Don't worry. I won't be underfoot. Lock bomb, lock chest, which we can't do nothing about. As you say. Ooh, what do we got here? Uh, still, we'll take it anyway. Um, that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. Now we're ready to go upstairs. This really isn't that hard. I thought it'd be hard since it's DLC, but no, apparently it's not. Fine with me, man. <laughs> I could use the experience. I really could. I really could, man. Oh, we gotta kill this thing, these things first, don't we? Okay, I see.
There we got it. The warden summoned demons. Can't believe it. And my grandmother, she knew. I believed that my family was better than that. But answers may lay up ahead. Okay, Morgan went up a level, so we'll need to take care of her. To a point to magic. Low power. We'll do cunning. All right. Get heal. All right. Ooh, too bad she can't use it yet. There we go. Further. Get this annoyance away from me. This one would speak with you. This one is the Dryden, Commander, Sophia. <laughs> All these things. Grandmother? You have slain many of the demon ilk to get here. This one would propose a deal. The soldier's peak traps me. This one sees so many tantalizing places in the Dryden's memories. This one would see the world herself. For me to be free, into the old mage tower you go and destroy. In return, this one seals the veil. No more demons. No more enemies. Your peak would be safe. Just let this one go into the world. This one will roam, this one will see, this one will feed. But without me, the veil will grow weaker. More demons, more misery. You choose just one of my kind, or many. The magics, all moving things, the very stone if you have the power. Something inside keeps my kind locked away. This one knows all, but will only talk after the tower lies broken. Yes. Warden, my family's been looking for answers for over a century, but not like this. A 
I'll support your decision either way. Agreed. Any questions Levy has of the Dryden will be answered. You only must destroy. For your purpose, there is nothing more you need. Good, good. Nothing must live. Nash stone with teeth if you can. Very well. Okay. Wish we'd hurry up and Oh, she fell in a trap. I didn't know there were traps there. It's a wonder I didn't go into one. <laughs> Okay. He's begun. <laughs> I love being able to knock them on their ass. You know, I don't know why, it's just so much fun. All right. Now we can get specialization. Now that we leveled up. Do a strength. Willpower. Nice. I don't know how to do the
specializations. I really don't. I hear you. Don't disrupt my concentration. Even now the demons seek to replenish their numbers. Are you to thank for this welcomed but temporary imbalance? Only just. I have only a short time left. Why are you here? What is your intent? To what questions, I wonder? Ask. Master Mage, uh, sir. My family name has been worth less than dirt for over a century. Do you have any proof that Sophia was a hero? The boy who braved the mists. So you heeded my call. Ha 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 and you are a Dryden. The cosmos has a sense of humor. He was but a boy when he entered the tunnels below the peak. His heart pure, his character certain. In dreams I gave him the keys he would need. He would be my deliverance. Your great-great-grandmother was the best of us. Brave, charismatic, fiery, utterly devoted to the fight. But still we lost. We fought against a tyrant, you know. So full of vigor then, so blind to consequence. A proof? There's none to be had. I... I had hoped. But thank you, Warden. The Chantry foolishly forbids blood magic, but there are so many secrets to uncover. As my body decayed, I found ways to extend it. But that can only go so far. What use would storytelling serve? The tyrant Arland is long dead. As is all our noble co-conspirators and the Grand Rebellion. Sophia's corpse may walk and talk, but she too is no more. He ruled with fear and poison, his treachery pit noble against noble in terrible battle. We thought him a monster. We gathered allies to rebel. But the toll of years has erased our failure, hasn't it? It seems so pressing then, but the kingdom lives on. Too many mouths to quiet. Even sorcery can only go so far. So we met with Tian Kuzland. With him on our side, we had a chance of victory. Instead, the King's Guard ambushed us. Commander Dryden and I barely escaped. Is it? You lost many family members that day. I saw the Tian's head on the meeting table with an apple in its muff. Arlen's butchers, no doubt, slaughtered enough Kuzlans to make them pliable. Perhaps, but it was survival. For months, I prepared the summoning circles, researched the darkest depths of the Fade. That moment was a triumph of demonic war. Dozens of demons, called by my hand. But, with so many variables, I suppose, calculation errors were inevitable. Ugh. I was so close. And who draws this line of what is safe, proper, or moral? 
The Chantry? Corrupt, mundane, pathetic little men? You? Embrace the core tenet of the Wardens, any means necessary to win. My only regret is that it failed, and that I never had a chance to make Ireland pay. She gave the order. I would have summoned the demons anyway. Only under Wardens can true magical research continue. A chance to rediscover the secrets of ancient Tevinta. Chantry lies told to subjugate the mages to keep them docile. And how do you know they are right? Their faith would have you swallow a great deal for small comfort. So be it. My only request, if justice or vengeance drive you, stay your hand until the demons are dealt with. My body may be frail, but my sorcery is not. Okay, the dog leveled up. Okay. I don't know why, but my... Oh, I know why. Because my keyboard died. I need to plug it in. Ugh. Like, why is my keyboard not working? There it is. There we go. That's better. That's better. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're cool now. Now... I'm just looking around. I don't know what all else I need to do. Because like I said, I've never done this, so... It looks like there's nothing else here. Yeah, there's nothing else here. I don't know. So, do we go back? I don't know. That'd be my guess. We go back. Mail. 
maelstrom has subsided. The Magus' web is destroyed. This one remembers the deal. Come, follow. Gossamer strands only stand between this world and home. Feel it? So deliciously weak here. So frail. The entire world should be as such. But this one will feed the veil. Make it strong. My brethren will not make it easy. Are you ready? This one will sew the strands together, make lattice with pain, experience, and exquisite agony. You keep the brethren away from me. Then we begin. We got it. Okay, you need a strength, a dexterity, and you're gonna do hunting this time. All right. All right, we got this quest done. And it is done. Your veil is strong. This one has kept its word. Now this one will go. There is much to do. The Magus was irrelevant. You have served your purpose. Ask, human. Ask quickly. Grandmother, Sophia, she knew about the blood magic then? Yes, she did. Avernus was powerful, useful. It suited her ambitions. But my grandmother was a hero. In her own mind, yes. She aspired to rule the land of the waking. To cast out the tyrant king. To mete out justice to those who betrayed her. Cousin Arland was so coy, so devious. Years before she sensed the asp. I don't understand. The old king died without kin, and the Dryden sought to don the crown. But the boy Arland was thought pliable by those in power. Fools. The Dryden, powerful, charismatic, insightful, and ignored. They gave her a choice. Death or the Wardens. She bided her time. She waited. She lived. The boy king Arlen spread terror, spread death, and the Dryden plotted. 
But Arlen's spies were too clever. She was discovered, and her last battle was here. And you, demon? How did you come to take her? When the Avernus deserted her, the Dryden would not die. Fierce pride, lovely, delicious terror. This one came to her. She would live in a fashion. And so she does, for this one is honest. Do you have any proof of this? Any proof of her good deeds and bad? Poor ilk of this body. This one has nothing. Only words lost in the wind. Our business is at an end. You will never see me again, Warden. You've done it, Warden. Soldier's Peak is safe again. No matter what she said, I dare say you haven't seen the last of Sophia Dryden. I, um, I'm not sure that was the wisest of moves, but there was no proof to redeem my family. I suppose they were at that. For so long, I was focused on the past, on answers. But I think I would have been better off had I stayed at home. Enough of that, though. I find myself at a loss. You've got a whole fortress now. I suppose I should start plying my trade again. You know I'm no good in a fight, but I'm a fair trader if I do say so myself. My cousins have been looking for a safe place to store trade goods, and the peak will do nicely. Whatever the Drydens have to offer are yours, for a sizable discount. Looks like we're done here. A demonic invasion thwarted, a warden base safely rescued, we do good work. All right. Once my family comes, I might have some merchandise you could buy. Might tidy the place up a bit too. Well, my nephews will. Very Okay, we're going to get out of here and go to the camp, I think, so we can get the save, and then, um, I'll call it for this video. But this was kind of cool. I, I never did this one before, so. It has begun. Yeah, we'll go to the camp. Just to see if we can get the save. If it doesn't save automatically, which it didn't, I'll just save manually. So, I'm going to call for this video, so... Hope you all had fun this episode. I did. And, you know, that was cool doing Soldier's Peak. And I'll see you all in the next episode.